You are watching the new mix. We're coming to you live on a Wednesday. I was going to almost started to say Tuesday, but we have passed that Tuesday. We're into hump day today, and it's April the 16th. It is noontime here on the show, and we will be bringing you local information. This is a locally produced program, and we bring you as much local things as, as uh, possible uh, to bring you an enlightenment, hopefully. The, we try to bring you things that uh, you'll want to know about, and we'll get started off with the most important thing of the day, and that is the weather. We're right in the middle of the day right now. And noontime is a perfect time to plan what's happening this afternoon. But first, let's get a look at our temperatures for uh, the surrounding areas. If you haven't been outside today and you want to know how cold it is at noontime, well, we'll tell you, or how warm it is. Actually, over in Gainesville right now, it's 51 degrees, 50 degrees in Branson. We got cloudy skies out there right now. Jasper, partly cloudy skies with 52 degrees, 52 in Marshall, 53 in Eureka Springs, 54 Mountain View, Arkansas, 54 in Salem, Mountain View, or excuse me, Mountain Home, 51 Harrison, 52 at cloudy skies. And we're going to be partly cloudy to intermittently sunny all day long today. And we'll take a look at our forecast for today. Let's take a look. Highs today are going to be 60 degrees. Sunny highs uh, with that 60 degree mark. We'll be um, having a little bit of wind conditions out there today, 10 to 15 miles per hour. And then tonight as we try to burn off that uh, those last three to four nights of being uh, sub-zero temperatures, not sub-zero, but sub-freezing temperatures, we're up a little bit as far as the degrees go, and we'll be around 37 for the low tonight with partly cloudy skies, lows in the 30s. South winds will die down to about five, five miles per hour. And then tomorrow, we're gonna jump up a couple notches in degrees to 65 degrees, partly sunny, and the winds will be dying down to about five miles per hour. And then for the overnight low, we're gonna to hit a uh, probably 10 degrees warmer with a 46 degree for the low. And then for the extended forecast for Thursday, 65 for the high, Friday, 66, Saturday, 69. And that temperature keeps rising up even as uh, that warm front moves through, bringing in the chance of showers and storms for Saturday night, Saturday night and Sunday into Monday. But it looks like uh, we're going to have a pretty good start of the next week with some warm skies around 74 degrees. And this rain, I'm sure, will help uh, a lot of those people out there that have been planting uh, their gardens and flower bulbs and different things. It's always a great time. Spring is one of our favorite times of the year, one of my favorites. And um, a lot of things going on. A lot of time to get out and do some activity that you've been cooped up for the entire winter time. Let's take our first break and when we come back we'll be giving you some information on some events that will be happening today, tomorrow, and through the end of the week. Stay with us. You're watching The New Mix. This little bit of information comes to us from the Pinkston Middle School over in Mountain Home area. Uh, Pinkston Middle School and the Mountain Home Junior High School, among 200 and 206 other Arkansas public schools around the state, have been honored with reward funds. In 2013 to the 2014 school year, 206 public schools were, were recognized as high-performing schools through the Arkansas School Recognition and Reward Program program recognizes the top 20% of schools based on academic achievement, academic growth, and graduation rates. Mountain Home Junior High is in the top 10%, and Pinkston Middle School is in the top 20%. On Thursday, April the 17th, a presentation will be held at 9 a.m. at the Pinkston Middle School and at 9.30 at the Mountain Home Junior High. And uh, Senator John, Johnny Key will be there. Uh, and Representative Karen Harper, I'm sorry, Karen Hopper, in a presentation at both of those schools, they'll be there. 
Uh, Pinkston Middle School received $27,959.60, while Mountain Home Junior High received $25,341.55. The schools in the top 20% this year received $45.35 per student. Schools that were in the top 10% received $90.70 per student. We want to congratulate them for academic achievement and just overall great things happening there in the school system in uh, Baxter County and Mountain Home. Also, uh, coming next Thursday is the premiere of Footloose here in Harrison at the Lyric Theater. And we want to let people know about uh, tickets, how you can get those. Uh, there's going to be, this, uh, this production is an extended production, meaning uh, there's going to be more dates that you can watch this, and we've realized that in some of these more uh, highly produced programs uh, with a lot of sets, a lot of choreography, and a lot of music and, and uh, the like with a, a lot of, with a large cast, uh, there's less chance to see it and people really want these things to go uh, more days than what they are. So they're going to be starting these, this not this Thursday, but uh, next Thursday will be the first premiere and it will be uh, April 24th at th Thursday at 7 p.m. and it'll run Friday, Saturday, and then the Sunday shows will run a matinee program at 2 p.m. And then the following week, Thursday, May 1st, Second and third will be Friday, Saturday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. Will be, these will be at seven o'clock also, and the Sunday performance, uh, which will be the close of that performance, May fourth, will be at two p.m. Uh, you can get your tickets by going to thelyricharrison.org or ozarkartscouncil.org. Click tickets, pick your date for the specific Footloose uh, showing, and you can even buy those tickets online and pay for them online, print your ticket, and just uh, go to the will call window, just walk right through, you don't have to stand in line to wait. But tickets are filling up fast, you can go to the seating chart on the website to find out just exactly how full they're getting, so I want to let everybody know that that's, that opportunity is there. Also, we want to let people know over in Mountain Home at the Chamber of Commerce that they are, that Hobby Lobby is uh, 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 submitting app, or set, uh, uh, making applications available to be um, uh, an employee of the new facility at Hobby Lobby there in Mountain Home. You can pick up applications there at the Chamber, uh, Chamber of Commerce office and uh, the Hobby Lobby will be having a job fair in upcoming months and they will uh, contact you and then you can bring your application there and talk about employment. And you're also cordially invited to the Buffalo River Baptist Church on Highway 374 West in St. Joe, Arkansas. They're having their Easter services uh, this Sunday, April 20th, and uh, they'll have a breakfast beginning at 9.45 a.m. Church service will follow the breakfast and begin at 11. Uh, they'll have an egg hunt for the kids immediately following the service. For more information about this, you can call 870-439-8111, 870-439-8111, one, 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 and transportation is available if you need it. Uh, let's see, Jamie Seed, who is a professional photographer, is going to be offering a workshop over at the ASUMH College. Uh, he's an event uh, photographer, natural, photo national, uh, n natural, sorry, nature photographer. Also, he does portraits, and he's based here in Harrison. Uh, he'll be uh, presenting this workshop uh, at the ASUMH. It'll be $60 per person. The workshop will be held on Saturday, April the 19th from 3 p.m. to 7 p.m. Community education classes are offered through the throughout the semester and are not the co not, these are not college credit courses and uh, they have no test or grades, just, uh, the, uh, just the ability to learn and opportunity to learn about a new thing. Uh, you can call for more information and to register for this at 870-508-6105, 870-508-6105 at the ASUMH office. Now, if you're looking for a good book to read, the Friends of the Baxter County Library invite you to uh, their monthly meeting, which is Wednesday, April the 23rd at 1.30 p.m. at the Donald W. Reynolds Library. Area book clubs will be sharing their top re recommended reads. Some of the book clubs represented will be issues, will also be issues and viewpoints they'll be talking about. Bibliograts, Book Lovers Book Club, Fairview Bull Shoals First 
Thursday Book Club and St. Andrew's Episcopal Church Book Club. These will all be there. For more information about the library programs, you can visit the library website at baxlib.org. And the Donald W. Reynolds Library serves uh, everyone in the county and adjoining counties. And they're located at 300 Library Hill in Mountain Home. You can contact Kim Crowshainer for more information at 870-580-0979. Also at the uh, Donald W. Reynolds Library, they're having a mu murder mystery April the 26th at the library. This is an Arkansas Heritage Program series, and you can join them at the library. This is April 26th again at 1 p.m. Local history author Marianne Edge will guide you on a tour of Baxter County's murderous past, exploring murder locations and grave sites. Tour goers will start at the library and will travel to their own in their own vehicles to the locations that are on the tour guide. And this will uh, end up at the Mountain Home Cemetery. Space is limited, so you must register at backslib.org. This program and others uh, are offered by the library throughout the year. And if you'd like more information, you can call Kim Crochainer again at 870-580-0979. Also on uh, April 21st, Bull Shoals Historical Society Society. Monday, April the 21st at 3 p.m. They'll have their, uh, their uh, at their Bull Shoals Library Annex. In Bull Shoals program will be Rita Watts uh, of Amer uh, Mountain Home on mission trips to Brazil and, and everyone is invited to attend. She'll be talking about her trip there and other interesting topics. Refreshments will be available and you can contact them for more information at 870-445-4750. And over in Mountain Home, we want to uh, keep you up to date on what's happening. Oh, and the Home Depot will host a free do-it-yourself workshop from 6.30 p.m. to 8 p.m. This will be on the 17th, which is actually tomorrow. Uh, they, they'll be calling it Cut and Color. We get your hands on a work, woodworking and painting tips, botany basics. Choose the right plant for your new hanging garden. This will be uh, tomorrow at uh, the Home Depot from 6.30 to 8 p.m. Also tomorrow on the 17th, we'll, they'll be having their second annual Baxter County Government Open House. This will be, uh, uh, the Baxter County will be host hosting, this is their second annual Baxter County Open House, which will be tomorrow at 4 to 7 p.m. The courthouse will be open for a tour and elected officials will be there to answer any questions that you may have. Also on the 19th, the Mountain Home High School Bomber Booster Golf Tournament will happen. This annual event will be at Big Creek this year. Uh, they will be raising money to support the athletic teams uh, for the Mountain Home High School. You can visit their website at bigcreekgolf.com. Also uh, on the 19th, the uh, 36th Annual Omelet Brunch. This is the uh, Business Professional Women's Event. They'll be holding, this is their 36th annual, like I said before, at the American Legion in Mountain Home. This will be April 19th from 8 a.m. to noon. Tickets will go on sale Friday, March the 14th, which has already passed, but you can still get your tickets from, from, uh, from any business professional woman in the area. You can eat all you want for $5, omelets, biscuits, juice, and coffee, and of course the famous flaming dessert omelet that they'll have available for you there. Again, this is going to be at the American Legion uh, on the 19th of, uh, I think that's uh, Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. Let me look real quick here and make sure 19th is a Saturday. I knew that. I just wanted to make sure. Also on the 19th, they'll be having their egg extravaganza. This is the Easter egg hunt, which will be Saturday, April the 19th, First Baptist Church in Mountain Home there at, next to Cooper Park. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., free egg hunts every 30 minutes, food games, classic car show, pony rides, inflatables, face painting, giveaways, and in case of the rain, all activities will be moved inside. So that's great for that. Saturday, dedication of the sesquicentennial marker. The de de dedication of the Civil War sesquicentennial marker will be Saturday, April 19th at 1.30 at the Baxter County Courthouse, sponsored by the Baxter County Historical Society. Sons of the Confederate veterans and united daughters of the confederacy will be there on hand and let's see what time we've got here 
We're going to uh, let you know about an event uh, that's happening at the Baxter County Library over there at Donald W. Reynolds Library. They're having a tween spring event at the library. The 4th, 5th, and 6th graders are invited to a special tween uh, spring event at the library this Saturday, April 19th from 2 a.m. to 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Participants will make fun Easter treats, crafts, including a fruit skewer appetizer and edible rabbit Easter egg cookies and bunny peep wreath. That'll be at the Baxter County Library the, or the Donald W. Reynolds Library this Saturday between the hours of 2 and 3. Library to host a screening of Thrash. Well, this is the Boone County Library. British, let me back up. Thrash is a provocative investigation of garbage of the garbage industry and what the society def defines as waste. If you don't know what that is, this will be a perfect opportunity for you to learn. This will be a film and it will look at the effects of all waste that has and already has on our on our earth and uh, our resources and why it is produced and how we can solve problems with uh, recycling. The person that is uh, involved in this is Melinda Caldwell and she's the founder of Via Recyclables. She'll be there to answer questions all about this and again that will be at the Boone County Library April the 24th at 5.30 so check it out uh, this coming Monday. And we have two programming notes for our stations. Uh, we are uh, premiering what is called the Bomber News Network from the Baxter, from the Mountain Home High School, high school kids. They're doing their own news program, and we're going to premiere this tomorrow, Thursday, at 6 p.m. on this channel. And I think it's about a 19 minute or it's uh, maybe 12 minutes. I'm not sure exactly, but uh, make sure you tune into that to watch that. It's produced solely by the Mountain Home High School. Um, the, it's from the East uh, Initiative students who are putting this on. So we want to uh, take our hats off to of them, give them some time to... Uh, to um, uh, give us their perspective of what their news is. And also coming in April, which will be this Thursday, tomorrow at 7, and then on Sundays at 4, uh, we'll be coming to uh, the area on this channel. Arkansas native Bob Weibel in a hunting experience that you've never encountered before. It's called the Deer Hunter Fan TV, and uh, he'll be going out to, with his friends uh, and hunt deer. And this is all about deer hunting and hunting fans all around should enjoy this program. Again, that's happening tomorrow at 7 p.m. and again Sundays at 4 p.m. That's it. Boy, I've went long-winded on that. We're going to take a quick break and when we come back we'll be talking about history right here on this channel and you're watching The New Mix. Stay with us. Welcome back to the new mix. Let's see how my paper, paper is going to be later. We are doing history and what has happened on this day on April the 16th and the year is up for grabs and we're going to go down the list of the years real quick. In 1705, Queen Anne of England knighted Isaac Newton. He was the guy where the apple fell on his head and then they named apples after him forever and ever. In 1900, the first book of postage stamps was issued. The two cent stamps were available in books of 12, 24, and 48 cents. Let's see, what is a stamp now? Three dollars and, no, let's see. 1905, Andrew Carnegie donated $10 million of personal money to set up the Carnegie Foundation for the advancement of teaching. And in 1912, Harriet Quimby became the first woman to fly across the English Channel. 1922, Annie Oakley shot 100 clay targets in a row to set a woman's record. In 1947, the Zumar lens, invented by Dr. Frank Back, was demonstrated in New York City. It was the first lens to exhibit zooming effects, hence the word zoom lens. 1962, in television history, Walter Cronkite became anchoring, began anchoring the CBS Evening News. 1968, the Major League Baseball's longest night game was played when the Houston Astros defeated the New York Mets one to nothing. The, uh, 
the 24 innings took six hours, six minutes to play that game. In 1972, Apollo 16 blasted off on a voyage to the moon. It was the fifth manned moon landing in history. 1987, the Federal Communications Commission, which also is known as the FCC, sternly warned U.S. radio stations to watch the use of indecent language on the airwaves. That was in 87. I think things have changed since then. 18, 19, also in 1987, the U.S. Patent Office began allowing the patent of new animals created by genetic engineering. Okay, birthdays. Let's go to some birthdays. We've got several birthdays we can talk about. Always fun birthdays, birthdays, birthdays. April 16th is also well known for this very important person that was born on the date of 1867, aviator Wilbur Wright. And there he is right there on the screen. And his brother name was Orville. And I think Orville was the guy that flew. Wilbur knew better. He wasn't going to get up in the plane until, until the parachute was invented, which I already, I think, well, I'm not sure parachute was invented already. I have to check into that. Charlie Chapman, let's look at him. There's Charlie. Charlie Chaplin, Sir Charles Spencer Charlie Chapman was his full name. He was born on this day in 1889. And then P Peter Ustinov, do I have that guy? No, I don't. Peter Ustinov was born on this day in 1921. And then this person here, Henry Mancini, also known uh, for his work composing the themes for the Pink Panther and Peter Gunn, Henry Mancini, Henry Mancini. Edie Adams is another well-known actress uh, in the 60s. She was born on this day in 1929. She would have been 85 years old today. Herbie Mann would be 84 today. He was born on this day in 1930. Bobby Vinton, 1935. Dusty Springfield, singer, uh, born on this day, 1939. Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, let's get a photo of him. I think I have him up there. He was born on this day in 1947, as we know him uh, as a world-famous, very tall basketball player and also played in uh, a, um, oh, I can't think now, uh, Bruce, Bruce Lee uh, film, uh, uh, Something Death, I can't remember the name, but this is the last film that Bruce Lee was in. This was his arch nemesis. Ellen Barkin, I have a picture of her. Actually, it's her birthday today. And we're going to talk about Ellen a little bit later. She, she stars in a movie that's going to be on uh, tonight, if we get to that tonight. Jimmy Os Osmond, his birthday is today. He was born in 1963. And John Cryer was born on this day in 1965. And we all know this last person. There's a before and after shot of this person. This is Peter Billingsley. He was that famous guy that almost shot his eye out in A Christmas Story. And then finally, what are we doing finally? Are we doing anything finally? Where am I at? I don't even know where I'm at. Okay, let's see, we just got a few minutes left. Let me leave you with, um, I did want to mention the movie that was that Ellen Barkin was in, and that's, it's tonight, it comes on at 11. It's called Crime and Punishment in Suburbia and she stars in this one. So check that out. And let me go, bear with me uh, there, Dan. I'm gonna try to bring this video up. I need to bring this one up. This is a pretty cool video. We've, we've featured this before. Uh, this, is our, this is from our resident over in um, Gasville. This is from Luke Ty Lee. He has some, uh, some uh, uh, helicopter hovering uh, 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 videography equipment and we're going to feature that for the remainder of the show. This is about three minutes. Just enjoy it. It's going to be nice. And this is over at the Gaston's Lake Resort. Enjoy. We'll see you again tomorrow on Thursday show.